How did Noah resist all these ungodly trends and influences of his generation? Genesis 6.13. Four words. God said to Noah. So Genesis 6.13. God said to Noah. Then Genesis 6.22. Noah did all that God said. I'm some Bible teacher, aren't I? That's deep stuff. It's really, really, really elementary. God said to you and to me, do we do what he says and he asks us to do? It's, it's so simple yet so profound. And, and the enemy lies with, it puts a wee bit of truth of the word. That's how he deceived Eve. A wee bit of truth with lots of lies. This is what God, did he really say? You see, but this is what, if, if, if the enemy had said to Noah, did God really say? There would have been four doors, and the boat would have been half the size, and it probably would have sank. He heard the word of God as he lived for God, and he obeyed as he heard. Christian, I want to encourage you, as you seek to grow in, in Christ, and as you hear the word of God, and if it hits you, or convicts you, don't get angry, go, thank you, God. But you're still speaking to me and get your life in order and do what he asks. Now John 17 and 14, Jesus prays for his uh, disciples. Now listen to what he says. I have given them your word. Now he's praying to God for the church. I have given them your word. That's your GPS. Do you know when you haven't a clue where you're going and you put it into your sat-nav? Christian, there's going to be days that we have not a clue how we're going to get through this. We're not going to have a clue how we're going to reach them. And we're not going to have a clue how we're going to stand firm and everybody else is falling around us. But the, the GPS is the word of God. I did not ask you to take them out of the world. He's speaking to God. But, but that you keep them from the evil one in the world. And that tells me that the church is called to engage the world. Without succumbing to its trends and values. If he wanted us out to lock away in this wee room, he would have removed us. He says, I don't want you to take them out, Father. Keep them here because they're going to be used by me to be a witness for me. And you're going to give them the power to, to navigate through this world, but protect them from the evil one was his prayer. And one needs to be walking with the Lord closely to engage the world. I promise you. I've seen men do it and fall. I've seen men go to evangelize too soon and, and they're, they're, they backslide. You don't understand the forces of evil you step outside of these doors. You, Christian, you are the light of the world. This is a lovely picture of the church who's got the grace of God upon them. A city sat on a hill cannot be hidden. It just can't be. You can't be a Christian and hide away. We can try, but it doesn't work. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand. And it gives light to the whole house. Where darkness once stood, it's now light. And in the same way, church, let your light shine before others. So they may see the good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. One thing I can say about this man, Noah, his light wasn't hidden. His light wasn't hidden. Church, come on from out onto your basket if you're in it this morning. Fear puts us there. Let your light shine, your testimony shine. The days of Noah are around us. There's corruption. There's mass sinfulness on full display. The family units being dismantled. The age of godliness is acceptable and around us. The mass agricultural advancements. Satanic worldly music entertaining the masses and a mass explosion of people on atheism and yet in Noah's day he stood in the midst of a great darkness with the grace of God in his life and he shone. Your today's light for today's generation that should excite you, excite you. it should excite us that we are today's light. If you work in a place where God is not known if you're part of a family where God is not known you have to understand God has placed you there as a light and the enemy's going to do one or two things. He's going to try and silence you through fear. He's going to influence you to live like a dog. But when we live with the GPS of the word of God, we become a mighty light and people start coming to us and asking for prayer and direction.